What's up guys, this is your boy, the Average Kim 98 over here back with another video. And in this video, we are going to look at some exciting news that has kind of come across and has been officially declared by Injustice 2 Mobile. And there is also a message in Inbox in the game. And that is about a new solo raid coming. So this is a pretty dope, exciting news that has come across. So new solo raids with uh, Superman with a Brainiac suit I guess as the main boss so this is gonna be some exciting thing that is gonna come underway so definitely solo raids with Darkseid as boss was kind of getting repetitive and for uh, many players progressing beyond a certain point in the heroic levels gets extremely difficult if you're not paying so definitely this new addition to solo raids a new event basically does give some op uh, like an hope for something new but then again I'll go over in this video of what to kind of even expect I I'll definitely declare it up front that this is more of a speculation at this point of time because we know nothing other than just uh, kind of this suggestion and like an announcement from them that a solo raid is coming and we don't know anything else so let's kind of even speculate in this uh, video to understand like what we could kind of possibly expect from the new solo raids so as it's already declared superman is the main boss so i guess the characters which have not yet been used till now in dawn of Aco apocalypse uh, solo raids that is the dark side solo raids they are gonna be the sub bosses and it could again be like multiple tires like five tires we have for uh, like uh, the dawn of Ap apocalypse solo raids we can have a similar here as well but the thing that i am kind of most concerned about and is kind of worried about is kind of introducing of new types of artifacts so i i think this is going to take place i am like 90 percent sure that this is going to take place because so when uh, like the azure artifacts came out it was specifically made for uh, like league raids then this new event like uh, dawn of apocalypse came out and that specific artifact that we have is called as dawn of apocalypse uh, artifact so i suspect that there will be something again new uh, on the artifact level and this actually kind of gives them uh, like an advantage of uh, like uh, getting more money so i believe like nrs is going to do that from a business standpoint it kind of makes sense because they would want uh, many people to just buy their new artifacts again so i i believe this is going to take place and this is going to make it uh, kind of quite difficult for i mean again the new players and the free to play players to get the new artifacts because already like maxing out the father box like uh, the father box is one of the most important uh, apocalypse artifact and maxing it out itself is kind of difficult so you can imagine like again another new artifact coming into the game that kind of messes up the mechanisms for like how you're trying to build your characters definitely it will have some added advantages like maybe like instead of just attack it could give like an armor pierce ability or a burn or like another mechanics added onto the artifact itself so that you can use in this particular form of solo rates the new solo rate that is coming through so definitely there will be some uh, new changes like as it's, it's a new thing completely new thing so definitely new changes but if this thing is taking place it's gonna be difficult but then again like if it's something similar to dawn of apocalypse where you have like uh, like a normal mode and then like seven modes of heroic then uh, what i kind of expect that again the first level will be pretty easy for like established players like who are playing for two years three years for them it will be pretty easy to like uh, uh, conquer the first level if it's again a seven level i think it could be something similar and what will happen right now is because this is a new event that is coming up i suspect and i again this is again speculations so what i believe is there are gonna be repetitions of like one uh, for two weeks uh, the dawn of apocalypse solo event runs then again for the next two weeks this uh, kryptonian solo event uh, which is being spoken about with superman as the main boss this runs again for like a gap of five days then again uh, runs for uh, two weeks so i think this is gonna be the new trend that is gonna come up with this new solo raid 
and it will be interesting to know what again the modifiers come in with the bosses sub bosses and i think uh, with respect to uh, like uh, one of the sub bosses or even main boss i think there will be a chaos modifier which is going to take place because if you check the entire uh, like heroic and the dawn of apocalypse uh, like solo raids there is no chaos modifier specifically in the sense like uh, it does not take splash damage there is chaos modifier uh, given with uh, like uh, if you're facing black manta it is there i i understand it is there but not very something specific to like uh, something that you see against hsc where there is like a splash damage so that could be kind of added in and again i kind of expect some things which will remain like a basic a similarity like uh, you you can see the hazards which you have in egl as well as against uh, like batman ninja lord J joker you have the hazards so definitely those hazards will be there but i also think uh, this is against again like i said this is against speculation i think that uh, some of the new bosses could get uh, like special properties on the special abilities so uh, in most of the bosses that you face in solo raids right now in dawn of Ap apocalypse you do not have like special properties on the like the uh, on the special abilities of the sub bosses so for example black manta has power slow uh, when he is doing his sp1 but like um, then he also has burn but not all the effects like it does not stop the heal and all those stuff uh, when he's doing a special so i think some new additional effects could come in and especially with right now uh, like also golden armor wonder woman kind of announced i think that will have a definite impact because from the passives of golden armor wonder woman what i could see is like when superman has a reduced health or like whenever the character in your team has reduced health it gains attack entirely throughout the match it gains like a defense entirely throughout the match i think those will definitely come into consideration as a support character golden armor wonder woman i still don't see it as a very offensive character but then again we'll have to see how it comes up in this uh, new solo raids whether it has some advantages like for example in league raids we have hero advantages which is not there in dawn of apocalypse uh, solo raid event but it could be there here uh, where you have basically hero advantages and golden armor wonder woman being a legendary character could have some hero advantages as well so definitely something new to look forward to the only thing as i mentioned before i'm very much worried about is the introduction of a new artifact which could definitely uh, like uh, mix up the entire complexity of the game and like uh, it becomes a pay to win difficult for players to get that new artifact in unless you pay for free to play players uh, it's gonna be very difficult could we, could it be father box uh, could it be like uh, not father box beg your pardon uh, could it be mother box i don't know but i read a comment uh, uh, someone was mentioning it could be cousin box like super girl against special attack i think that's a pretty crazy comment that someone was mentioning but definitely uh, those are issue uh, like if it's coming in that will definitely be an issue like i mentioned uh, uh, throughout this video and also one more thing is like we definitely need like it's mentioned even in one of the comments that we need gems uh, we need like uh, gems and probably instead of giving like uh, reforges like normal reforges for the gear reforges instead if we get like artifact reforges uh, that would be great if as like a final rewards for defeating a boss in the in, in like uh, like a sub boss or the other boss at a final level so if there is again like five levels uh, similar to dawn of apocalypse then definitely like if you're fa beating the safe for the first boss and you get uh, instead of getting normal gear reforges you get that uh, artifact reforges that would be amazing so definitely a lot of things to look out for new changes a new concept new mechanics something i'm definitely looking forward to interested to but still skeptical of how good it will be because uh, knowing the past history of like how it has been um, kind of you know like a money oriented game pay to win uh, no free nothing free basically no free stuff and also uh, kind of skeptical in those lines but as i said excited to see what's gonna come in the new solo rates so do let me know what you think of this new solo rates what comes up and uh, do let me know your thoughts this is your boy the average gamer 98 over here i'm gonna sign off if you guys enjoy this content uh, make sure to subscribe hit the like button and do comment and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace